30 years gives you some perspective. I mean, it's been a journey, that's for sure. I've had opportunities to travel. I've made such wonderful friends along the way. People that I admired as a child on stage are still my mentors. People that have shaped me in every perspective. I think that that's so precious to me. It takes a certain personality to venture into a career in ballet. Dance in general was appealing to me, but there was something about the magic and the storytelling that really appealed to me with ballet. I moved here at the age of 11 to go to the National Ballet School for grade six. And it wasn't until I graduated and got a job here in 1990 with the National Ballet of Canada that I really started calling Toronto home. I've always loved the dramatic ballets, even as a child. And I, of course, would imagine myself performing many of those roles. So I think I did always have an interest and an affinity for human pathos, the human condition. And I've always been really interested in people in general. That's just part of who I am, but I'm also a dancer. I've always been a dancer. From the day I stepped in the studio, I've always wanted to be a dancer. And so I think that every step of the way, every opportunity that I've received has helped me evolve and helped me place some of this pathos and some of my interest in people and telling stories. But I always wanted to be expressive and just finding that courage over time was what I think allowed me to explore some of the interesting roles in a, in a different way. James Kadelka always said that the other stepsister role is a virtuoso role. What is hidden underneath all that character is a lot of technical difficulty. There's a lot of slapstick humor, but all of that is controlled and planned. Developing a role like that is really interesting because it's never been done before. It's not just your take on this iconic role, it's really building a role and a character from the foundation up. Every show was different. James really gave us the latitude to change certain aspects of our reactions with each other. We really wanted to keep it fresh and spontaneous, so every show was different, but the key was knowing who we were. I think that over the span of a career, there can be many disappointments and um, things like injury, roles that you don't get, but you learn from each one of those. And for every role you don't get, there might be another role that opens a new door. For instance, some of the character roles. There was a time that I was not able to perform some of my regular roles because of injury. And Karen was the one that proposed giving me Care Boss. It really shifted the trajectory of my career. It kept me on stage at a time that I didn't think I could be on stage. And it kept me connected to who I am, my identity as a performer and a dancer. And so I'm forever grateful for her taking a chance on me with Care Boss at that time in my life and, and how it's affected every step afterward. She is one of the best actresses, dance actresses, that I have ever seen in any company anywhere. She's extraordinary. She is deep, thoughtful, incredibly musical, hardworking, serious, super smart. She's just a great artist all round. She's very, very special. I don't know what the next 30 years has to offer. I know I've really enjoyed coaching. I think that there's something about that, that progression through the ranks. It feels good to give back and it feels good to, to contribute in that way and help shape young dancers. But I'm also a creature of the stage, so I, I hope I have more years on stage. Thank you.